Well, hello, Robert Heffernan uh, with Endotech. This is our weekend edition. Uh, cryptos never sleep. Uh, therefore, uh, you know, you need to know what the heck you should be looking at over the weekend. Um, let's do the rounds. Doing the rounds, my chance to talk about a headline, an article I've seen, and this one just keep, he just keeps coming back. Uh, Tom Lee uh, made all his money on Litecoin. Anyway, uh, talking again, BTC is going to hit twenty five thousand. Uh, well, we're going to take the vitals here in a second, just to talk about the weekend segment. Since Bitcoin and cryptos never sleep, they'll be traded all weekend long for your trading pleasure. Uh, that casino never closes. Anyway, uh, because of that, uh, I just love the headline. It's going to hit 25,000. Well, let me tell you something. It's not hitting 25,000 anytime uh, soon uh, when we're in low momentum daily, weekly, uh, which we are right now. You know, let's take the vitals and talk this because fundamentals you can throw out the window uh, as far as I'm concerned, especially if you're trading leveraged because the fundamentals uh, can stay disconnected from the actual price discovery for a lot longer than you can stay solvent. Anyway, let's, let's take the vitals and just talk about this weekend segment or the weekend setup quickly. Uh, and right now, Bitcoin trading 84.75. As we talked uh, at the beginning of the week on the weekly, that weekly lower momentum level, 84.94. So fully uh, involved there in lower momentum on the weekly. And for me, you know, obviously since the weekend does not close, the trading doesn't close, we need to see where this thing is Sunday night. But for sure, a close Sunday night below 84.94 is not going to be healthy. Uh, and then we're looking at the weekly collar down at 68.93 this week. Uh, also, uh, in the same general area of the monthly average at 7,090. That's where it looks like it wants to go to me. And uh, 25,000 as it might go trade there someday. As I've said before, we're never going and trading uh, 25,000 as long as we continue to stay in lower momentum. And so now fully lower momentum daily, uh, fully uh, lower momentum if we close Sunday night uh, below 84.94. It's not looking healthy. Now, that can change. Obviously, that can change. And I'm not saying we're going to close the week in low momentum. I'm just telling you right now that that's the setup right now. So if the week closed right now, looking very weak. Obviously, a lot of trade left Saturday and Sunday. So we shall see how it uh, unfolds. Uh, but for sure, not looking healthy uh, at all. And, and right now, uh, Ether trading 179.36. It's lower more on the weekly, 175. So look for that area. Um, XRP trading 25.96. It's lower more, 25.78. Litecoin uh, trading 57.34. It's lower more, 56.75. Let's just continue down the road. 332 in EOS. It's lower more on the weekly, 305. Uh, BNB trading 20.11. Low more. Uh, 1725 and just below the weekly average there on the weekly 2021. XLM trading uh, 0732. It's low mo. Actually, it's still an up mo. How about this? And I talked about the crosses. Uh, 0711 up mo and XLM and Tron also one of the healthier ones. 0185 last. 0185, uh, 0187 just out of up mo. On the weekly, so both XLM and, and Tron still in a lot healthier uh, uh, territory than the rest of the board. The rest of the board knocking on the door and or, uh, as in Bitcoin's case, in lower momentum on the weekly. We'll see how the weekend pans out. Uh, stay disciplined, trade disciplined, mind the mo. Everybody works for the weekend, so have a great weekend. And if you're trading, uh, I'll be back Sunday night to talk about what uh, what transpired and where we actually did close on the weekly. I'm a very big believer in letting the bracket fully close out, all right? I've gotten in more trouble thinking in a trade setup like this, well, we've taken out 84.94, so we're in lower momentum on the weekly. It's got to close there, all right? It's got to close there. So please be patient, uh, be disciplined on making sure that the time fractal that you're looking at, that it actually closes uh, out the bracket where you think the weakness or strength might be. 
All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back Sunday night for a weekly segment. Until then, uh, have a great weekend.